Hi, welcome to the repair studio and I'm Ali and today I thought I would just show you how I fill in uh, cracks in pieces of um, china, porcelain and pottery. So what I have here is our small uh, sugar dish and what I'm going to do is just fill in all these little where, where it's been broken and it's been glued we just need to fill these cracks here and also can you see there's a small break a little crack there and we're going to just fill that in today so first things first always make sure your hands are completely clean because whatever if you start touching stuff and get dirt and grime in it's very hard to get out and it will show through when painting you also need to get yourself prepared. So I've got some a glass of water here, or a cup of water. I've got my milliput. This is what we're going to use, and I've got it in white. It does come in other colours, but because it's on a white base of china, we're using white. I've also got my little tool here. Now, if you don't have one of these, a knife is fine. Um, as long as it's not got a pointed edge, you don't want to be um, doing any damage, hurting yourself. As you can see, I've already started, I've just got a bit of something on there, some milli put. So there we go, so it's all flat. Also some kitchen roll or just something to just cover the surfaces. So if you do get anything on there, it's all nice and protected. Another point is not, I would highly recommend when you are doing anything with china, it sounds silly, but not to wear anything too fluffy because any sort of fluff from your clothing can actually, the fibres can get it onto the china. It's amazing how many times we touch our um, sleeves and things and then suddenly you're touching this and then it goes on to and it's very hard to get off. So what we're going to do, we've got the milliput. Now the milliput comes in two parts. It does last a while. So here we are, the white and the blue. And what you do is mix two together. So, I always find the blue ones always harder than the white so I would just you don't need to use very much probably that amount always make sure you that it's completely contained nowhere getting into because it will dry very quickly dry out and then we've got the white which I always find slightly softer so about half the same amount again, just with your fingers. And just, if, you, if you put it into a ball, you can compare to make sure they're the same size. Again, to make sure they're thoroughly airtight. So we've got the two parts and now we're going to combine. So this takes a few moments or a few minutes to combine these. You want it to be quite soft, almost feeling like blue tack. So it's pliable and easy. So what we'll do first, I think we'll work on the chip first actually. Now you can see here it's got a chip here. Where I'm dark you can see more. Right. So we do, once we've nicely got this all combined, you can tell because you can't see the blue part of the milliput is quite yellow. And obviously the clear part is quite white so you can actually see when it's combined together if there's any lines or you can still see different tones in there you know you still need to keep working it right so that's about ready now so it's nice and soft it feels like blue tack i can't see any other colors and tones in there it's all blended in nicely so what i need to do is look at the piece Right, so we then take a little bit of our milliput and you almost want it to put it into the shape it's already at so I can see here and then you just place. Now this would dry, I'll leave this to harden for about 24 hours before sanding And then just look on the other side as well, make sure that it's all the way through. You want it to be slightly proud, you don't, you don't want it flush because we are going to sand it away to give it a smooth finish. 
so you want that to be nice and flush it nice and proud there you can see it's proud there make sure you this is where the tool you don't have to have the tool but if you can rather than fingers just actually if you do at this point dip it in a bit of water it does smooth it better as you can see so we're smoothing to say still leaving it proud but just smoothing that area and then we work on the inside you'll see there right now once we've done that we we'll now work on these what they call radial cracks as you can see there so if I let's have a look we've got one here if you can see there and we've got these ones here that's what I do actually I didn't realize it's still got some sellotape on the inside so I'll just take that inside bit off clear so you miss that sometimes last thing you want to be doing is really putting over sellotape so let's get this crack sorted now so we take our mealy put and you can see it's quite long so we want it quite we need to just do a bit at a time cut some off and I would actually just get it into the shape so we've got the shape there now let's see there so if you can just press it down to roughly where the crack is and press into it and then I'd work along so then I'd take another piece and let's say let's do this bit here and see that right once i've done that as you can see i would then take my knife or tool as i say if you don't have one not to worry just use your fingers hopefully you've got a finger now you can sort of be quite flexible and pliable so i've got this and then again in the water you don't want it to be soaking wet because then it will start breaking apart so with that i would then just lightly press into Again, we want to leave it proud, it would just to get into those little crevices. When doing this, you don't want to use too much when you put because you'll make a lot more work for yourself once it's been um, once it's dried. Bit of water on the finger and then just do that so you can see it's proud it's starting to cover there we go so we can leave that for 24 hours for that to dry and then we can ready for sanding and obviously i'd do the rest of the radial crack and also here what you could do also with a crack just thought of again finger if you just want to smooth it slightly you can, as i say i still feel it's proud it's ready for sanding but there's not too much of the milli puts because i don't want too much hard work for myself and there we go so that's all ready to dry i'll finish off the rest later and i'll see you in the next tutorial so i hope this was useful please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.